I'm John P, and on today's Geek Beat, the transporter is finally a reality. Not that transporter, Dave. This transporter. Geek Beat episode 540 is brought to you by Netflix. The big news today is that the original founder of Drobo got the band back together with an idea for a new type of storage. He wanted to be able to use inexpensive hard drives but allow them to replicate themselves into other geographic locations for redundancy and just to be able to use the same data in multiple places. It's a little bit like Dropbox meets Drobo, but with a twist. All of your data lives securely on drives you own and control, and there is no monthly fee. Callie and I have a pair of the early prototypes, and I've successfully managed to put one at my house, the other one at her house, and let them automatically replicate just a boatload of movies and all kinds of other junk. So now they can be watched at either location. No copyrights were harmed in the making of this episode of Geek Beat. What's even cooler is that we could add 20 more transporters in other places if we wanted and build out our own self-replicating private cloud. You can even share just individual directories with friends who have their own transporter. So for example, we could make a GeekBeat folder and share it with every one of you guys who gets one. It's totally awesome, and you can order a pair for yourself from their Kickstarter project. These things are going to be in short supply, so you're going to want to be at the front of the line. Geekbeat.tv forward slash transporter will get you there. Whoa, hold everything, folks. I was just told that Callie and I each have a pair of transporters to give away. So we're going to launch a contest over on our Google Plus accounts to give them away. So head on over to google.com forward slash plus Callie Lewis and google.com forward slash plus John P and enter. While you're on Google Plus, make sure and join the brand new geek community we started. You can find it at geekbeat.tv forward slash geeks. That'll take you right over to the Google Plus community. And by the time you see this, there'll probably be almost 4,000 members. And it's not even a week old. Well, what I mean is Google communities in general aren't even a week old. Google launched this new feature a few days ago, and it's really taking off. Our very own Gord McLeod wrote an extensive article on the blog to get you started. Check it out at geekbeat.tv forward slash communities dash how to. You know, the transporter is a Kickstarter project that just got started, but back in June, I backed another project called The Bridge which was for a very high quality keyboard designed to act like a clamshell for iPads. Well, it finally came. And I know I'm always acting like I don't really care about iPads and all that stuff, but secretly, I really do like them. And now I love mine. You gotta check out the way the bridge keyboard attaches to this thing. You just kinda shove it in there and then it stays. Look at this, you can shake it, it is not coming off, but you can pull it out pretty easily. So you can charge the keyboard via a micro USB port, and this model that I have actually has a speaker built right into it. It all connects via Bluetooth, so if you wanna get one, you can head over to thebridge.com, but bridge is spelled funny, look right down here, B-R-Y-D-G. Anyway, you can order one like mine for 210 bucks. Yeah, I know, that's a little steep, but personally, I'd do it all over again. Now, you could also opt for a brand new plastic version of the bridge, which goes for 130 bucks. This is a major upgrade for the iPad. So as of this moment, I highly recommend it. Hopefully it's gonna live up to my expect expectations long-term. Next up, I'm gonna blow your mind with a demonstration of some new technology. But before we do that, let me just take a minute to say how fabulous Netflix is looking today. So last night I was watching my newest, most favorite show, Warehouse 13 on Netflix. I'm currently on season three, episode five, so if you're ahead of me, don't spoil it. Anyway, at Holly Pose comes in and says she wants to watch Merlin. It was season one, episode nine, I believe, where a black knight comes in and starts kicking some, well, anyway, he's not as awesome as the black knight in Monty Python, but he's still pretty good, you know, so you should check it out, Merlin. And if you don't have Netflix, head over to netflix.com forward slash geekbeat to get a free month. You will not regret it. Which leads me to my next story. It is now time to blow your mind. 
This is a Samsung Galaxy S3. I guess they sold about, oh, I don't know, 50 billion of these things. Well, this is what's called an MHL adapter, which stands for Mobile High Definition Link. Now, let me explain how it works. You see, at the Keebler Elf factory, they recycle old router cases and they mix them with gunpowder. Then they dip them in chocolate and sprinkle them with fairy dust. Okay, I don't know how it works, but I do know this. The MHL adapter lets me show whatever is on my mobile device on any TV with an HDMI cable nearby. Heck, you could even use your phone with a projector. So, when I tell you you should get Netflix, here's why. You can watch it anywhere just off your phone. How awesome is that? There's actually a bunch of information at mhlconsortium.org, but honestly, all you really need to do is go to geekbeat.tv forward slash MHL adapter and it'll show you all the ones for sale on Amazon. These things only cost like 10 to 20 bucks, so go get one. Speaking of getting one, did I mention our friends from Samsung just sent Callie and I a couple of Galaxy Note 2s? Holy mama, I've only had it for a couple of days, but I already don't know how I ever got by without it. So, for those of you who think it's too big, may I remind you, there is no such thing. Well, at least not for me. If you're kind of short or have tiny hands, maybe this could be a little bit large, but even then, I really think you'd get used to it. Callie and I are gonna play with ours for a while and then give you guys a complete review, so stay tuned. And hey, stay tuned to Geek Beat for more gadgets and geeky goodness. Hit the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube and show some love to the thumbs up. I'm John P. Oh, and uh, could somebody please tell me why it is when you're driving and looking for an address, you turn down the volume on the radio? You know, Dave, I wish this was episode 1212 because today is 12, 12, 12. Didn't like the Incas predict something mildly destructive was gonna happen today, like, yeah, no, no, the Incas, I think it was the Incas. It was like McDonald's is gonna run out of McFlurries or something like that.